Uh, this stuff, this section is really easy. Okay, you guys? Um, it has to do, we just got done doing, well, we've talked about parallel lines. This is um, perpendicular lines. They just talk about a flow proof. I showed you an example that we don't need to make any flow proofs. But a flow proof is just like a flow chart. They have something written in a circle or a rectangle, and if it's yes, you go here, and if it's no, you go there. Remember what a flow chart, everyone knows what a flow chart looks like? Like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We don't need to make the flow charts, but there are some examples in there. You don't need that. Okay, so the theorems for perpendicular lines are all common sense. If two lines intersect to form a linear pair, remember a linear pair is two lines that, two angles together that form a 180 linear straight line, then the lines are perpendicular. Everyone remember what perpendicular means? 90 degrees. So instead of writing a word, do you guys all remember the short uh, abbreviation for it? Down Upside down T, perpendicular. Theorem 3-2, if two sides of two adjacent acute angles are perpendicular. So they have two angles here, one and two, and the two sides are perpendicular, then the angles are obviously complementary, right? Obviously. They gotta add up to 90 because it's perpendicular. If two lines are perpendicular, they meet and form uh, four nineties, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So if you see a picture like this with one ninety on it, and again, this is common sense, but some people might not know it. What do you know about the other three angles there? They're all ninety, also, because these are vertical, so they got to be the same. Linear pair, if that's 90, this has to be 90. Same thing for that. So here we've got an example of this proof. They tell us right here that AEC, this angle, is equal to DEB, this angle. And they want us to prove that AEB right here is equal to DEC right there. So, um, again, eventually you'll have to do your own proofs, but for now we're just going to try and do couple every day or one every day. We start off with our given. That is given. Now I know that this green angle here, AEC, right there, is formed by two angles together. Angle AEB plus angle BEC equals the whole angle AEC. That is just, again, you can abbreviate <coughs> angle addition. <coughs> you have two angles together, you get a bigger angle. <coughs> that also works with this blue one, right? If yeah. I take this angle plus this angle, you get the whole thing. So angle DEC plus angle BEC equals angle um, DEB. That is also angle addition. So, we know that these two things are equal because it was given to us, right? Correct? Yeah. So then, since these two are equal, what do you know about these two? They're equal. So we write that in there. A, E, B, plus B, okay. E, C, equals B, E, C, plus B, E, C. And what 
property would I put for the reason? Substitution. When in doubt, if you had to guess at a reason and you didn't know what to put, put substitution. Because a lot of times that'll be correct. Now, when you're looking at these things, is there anything that'll cancel out? Is there a same on each side? B, E, C on each side, right? So if I subtract B, E, C, they'll cancel each other out. And you're left with A, E, B equals. Yeah. It's like an algebra <laughs> equation, yeah. And all I did there, my reason is I just used subtraction. And that's what they were trying to get us to prove, right? Yeah. Right there. So, that's it. Now, here's an example. I don't know who in their right mind would like reading a paragraph proof, but this is, this is the same proof except written like in a paragraph. And then here they got an example of the full proof which again, it's kind of hard to read. So that's why when we do our proofs, we're just gonna do the two column proofs. Okay, we don't need to do that. All right. So, like I said, today's assignment is really easy. Um, no. I'm gonna uh, put a couple of problems up there. Okay, I just want to show you a couple of these, just how easy these are, but there are three that you might not know what to do. To find the value of x, you don't get any easier than this. Hopefully everyone would know what x is, right? 90, okay. Same thing with these, they're easy to find x. Yeah, same thing with these, easy to find x. When you get to 14, 15, and 16, I'll leave this up here so when you get to these, you can uh, just get them from up here. They're saying, what can you conclude about the angles? So it tells us that AB is perpendicular to CB. So what do we know about the angles? They what? They're complementary, right? We don't know if they're equal. We don't. No. This could be 40 and that could be 50. But since these lines are perpendicular, we know that 1 and 2 have to add up to 90. So you could put that, they add up to 90, or you can say they're complementary because that means the same thing. <laughs> so that's what you do for 15. What do you know about these four angles given that? And what do you know about these angles given that? So that's all you say. Okay? So, your assignment is page 138. <laughs>